<laughs> hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, what's so funny is, is I have taken so many different takes for this video that I'm thinking about getting one of those, you know, those director's boards, and it'll say DIY Electronics um, wireless smoke detector 5808 installation take 22. Click. <laughs> Because I, first I couldn't get the stupid thing focused, then I got sun in my eyes and, and the sun on the oh god, what a morning! But anyways, guys, what I, what I'm doing is I'm going to be showing you how to um, program in a wireless 5808 smoke detector into your Ademco system. It could be an ADT SafeWatch Pro 3000. It can be an Ademco 20P. A 15p, a 10p, a Vista 10, Vista 20, whatever Vista series you're thinking of, this smoke detector will connect to it. Again, it's a 5808 Ademco smoke detector. Now, the other thing is, is this may look a little intimidating, but there are 15 steps, okay, to program the 5808 into the panel. But I'm going to walk you through each one of the steps, and I'm also I'm going to pop this in, in front of the camera so that you can pause it and write it down, and then you can follow along with me as I program it. All right, so hang on for a second. I'm going to turn the camera around, get you set up on the keypad, and we're going to program this 5808, and then we're going to test it. All right, hang in, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, um, the first thing you're going to need in this whole um, programming is you got to know what the installer code is. If you don't know what your installer code is of your system, I have other videos out there on how to retrieve it. If you call your alarm company and they won't give it to you, go to my video on the SafeWatch Pro 3000 um, installer code retrieval or something that's something worded like that. but. Um, or just go through all of my Ademco videos and you'll see the one where I show you how to get your um, installer code out of this system. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in front of you and that way you can hit pause and you can write it down. Now, down here at number four, it says enter zone number and then that's the next available zone in your system. So if you don't know what your next available zone is, you know, it, if it's a halfway decent size, you know, go up to like zone 16 and that should be available. Um, and then right here I had a little typo. So after you, after you hit your zone number, then you hit star, then pause a second and then hit star again. All right. But I'm going to walk through each one of these steps with you. All right. That should have been long enough to get yourself uh, one through eight. And let me just raise this up, and that way you can get 8 through 15. Let me just raise it up just a little more. All right, that should have been long enough for you guys to pause it and then uh, write everything down. So now, let's get into it. We're going to be programming in a, a Demco 5808 wireless smoke detector. All right, so the first thing we do, install a code 800. So mine is 4112800. Okay, now I'm in program. The next thing you do is star 56. All right, it says set to confirm equals zero. So set to confirm, you hit zero. All right. Enter zone number. That's the next available that you have. If you don't know what yours is, go up to like 16, and most likely that's going to be available for you. My next zone number that's available is 09. So I'm going to hit 09. All right. So I hit the next available zone, and then it says hit star, then pause, and then hit star. So hit star. You pause a second, then you hit star. Zone type. You're going to be doing a fire alarm, so, so you put in 09. All right, it says fire. All right, and after, oh, after you do that, I'm sorry, you, you hit star. Let me get that at the, 
the next frame there. So number six on your list, at the end of it, hit make a star. Okay? So I hit zero nine, and that's fire, and then hit star. Partition. It says leave it alone. Hit star. Report code, leave it alone. Hit star. All right, RF trans is three. So if it isn't three, just hit three, and then hit star. All right, now it says input the serial number. Input the serial number. It says take the smoke detector off its base and then back on. All right, so let me just get this out of the way, and I'm gonna bring the smoke detector in frame. Now I'm going to take it off, wait a second, and then put it back on. All right, it automatically programs the serial number off the smoke detector into the system. All right, let's go to the next one. So, all right, it says input serial number, take the smoke detector off the base, then back on. Now hit star. The loop number, you want to make that number one. So now it's four, you want to go one. All right, oh, now that, I, I gotta put another star at the end of that, guys. And I lost my, oh, here it is. Hang on one second. So right here, after you, after you change the loop number to one, hit star. All right, so I change it to one, then hit star. All right, you'll see this next. And it just says, leave, leave 13 alone and hit star. All right, 14, let's see. Program alpha, hit zero, then zero, zero. Hit star nine, nine. You're done. Okay? That is now the 5808 is now programmed into the alarm system. So let's test it. Now, the way that you test 5808 smoke detectors is you got the two little lights and then you'll see a little hole. Down at the bottom of that hole is a little switch and you just have to push it. All right? So now, after I trip the alarm, you know, of course, the keypad's going to say alarm, zone 9, fire, or something like that. To silence it, just punch in your, your master code off, and that'll silence it. So here we go. I'm going to put, I'm going to push this in. Fire, zone 9. And that's the sounder. Now to shut that off, one, two, three, four, off or whatever your code is. Mine's one, two, three, four, because this, this is my demonstrator, so it makes it a lot easier. So the first time that you hit the one, two, three, four off, it silences all the sirens and everything else, okay? But this, the smoke detector out in your hallway where this is going off, this could possibly still be beeping. You actually have to go out there and blow your hat at it or something like that to get the smoke away from it until this will shut off. Just by hitting your coding off will not shut this off. This will keep on going un until you clear the air around it, okay? Now, to totally reset your system after a fire alarm event, just hit your code and off again. One, two, three, four, off. And that's it. All right, guys, let me just swing you around, talk to you for a second. That is how you program and test a 5808 wireless smoke detector into your Ademco system. I'm going to leave a link down below to Amazon for one of these. That is not, I'm not, that's no recommendation or anything like that. It's just a lead for you to get all the proper information about this smoke detector. And I would like you to go out and see if you can find the best price because these are still available. Um, but a lot of people try to rip you off, so I'm going to leave a link to Amazon just to give you a starting point. 
Um, I am not affiliated with Amazon in any way, shape, or form. Um, I used to be, but their, their algorithms and stuff like that, I couldn't sell enough to stay on their platform, so I left them. I have my own website, but I don't have any of those in, in stock. Um, but again, I'm not affiliated with Amazon. That's just a starting point for you to find where you can locate, you know, find your own uh, way to for a 5808. All right, got tongue tied there. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell, buy me a coffee. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, I got more of these videos coming. The next one on this one is going to be how to program in a 5800 carbon monoxide detector. And I, I'm not sure if I can get to it this week, but I'm going to be trying to put out a video every Thursday um, from this day forward. That's, that's going to be my, my uh, go-to. It's going to be Thursdays. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.